In this lecture, we will learn about digital signatures using hash function. Okay, so we will use hash function to make the digital signature smaller. So in the last class, we learned that okay, Bob is sending a message to Alice. He says that, dear Alice, I love you. How I have missed you. I think of you all the time and blah, blah, blah. Okay, he wants that, okay, he should encrypt this message and have a digital signature. What does that mean? It means that when Alice receives that message, she can verify that, okay, it has been sent by Bob and it has not been forged by someone else, let's say man in middle, Trudy, and that later Bob cannot repudiate that he had not sent the message, okay? So for that, we use the digital signature and what bob did he had the private key kb minus he encrypted the message using that so now what he did he sent the message m and the encrypted version with his private key kb minus m and then what bob alice could do she could now she can have easily get the public key of bob she used the public key of bob to decrypt the message encrypted by Bob with his private key and she will get the message M dash. If this M dash is equal to M, it means it was encrypted by Bob. Okay, so all the three properties, like she can then verify that it was Bob who sent the message. It cannot be forged because no other person, let's say Trudy, can write the message, encrypt the message using her key such that if Alice decrypts it with the public key of Bob, it will become M, okay? And later, in fact, Bob can also not repudiate saying that, okay, I had not sent the message. So this is very beautiful thing. But the thing is your digital signature that we are sending, it is too long, okay? So because I'm sending the message and the encrypted version of the message, uh, which becomes quite long and almost like your if the encrypted version is of the same size as m your total message size becomes 2m and it's big on the network i would not like so much of traffic it becomes costly so what happens is there is a way out using message digest okay so what does message digest do so computationally expensive to public key encrypt long message. So if there is a message which is very long, it is computationally very expensive because we saw that public key cryptography, we saw in the RSA algorithm that we had to do lot of exponentiation like M to the power of E modulo N. So this exponentiation with large prime numbers is quite costly. So we don't want to encrypt a message with public key which is very long so goal is fixed length easy to compute digital fingerprint okay so how we do so we use a hash function okay and what are the properties of a hash function hash function is a function first of all it is many to one okay so there is a hash function so h of m can be equal to h of m1 so many functions so here if it is many to one okay more than one values can map to the same function okay point output produces fixed size message the good thing is it produces a fixed size output given and one most important thing is given a message digest x okay so we have x is equal to h of some message it is computationally infeasible to find m okay such that x is h of m what does it say it says that let's say we have got x is h of m so we have got this then it says that it is computationally infeasible to find any m the inverse process such that we find m such that h of m is x so it's very infeasible computationally so it's not that easy very very difficult to find basically a message for which h of m is x okay 
so this is there so now let's try to see what happens and for example internet checksum is an example of a crypto hash function okay so what we do here so it produces a fixed length so we have four messages okay they are eight bits so i is eight bit o u nine they are eight bits alphanumeric values so ascii format is this and what it simply does is it adds in hexadecimal so 9 plus 1 10 plus 2 12 which is in hexadecimal c 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 10 which is a and so on so it adds the message and this is the checksum but the thing is so we have a message we had message we found the checksum this is also a hash of m but what we said that if we have some x is hash of m then we can here we can easily find other messages for which our hash will be the same so here if you see i is o u 1 and o o dot 9 they are giving us the same hash because it's simply adding so it's not that difficult but we will use hash functions that will for which it, the inverse process is not that easy so let's try to see now digital signature signed message digest so bob sends a digitally signed message so there is a large message huge message he writes to alice okay he poses his all heart and then there is a hash function and this hash of message produces a fixed size signature okay so this produces whatever be the size of the message 10 megabyte message but let's say this is just 1 kb of message digest so that is whatever will be the size 10 mb 20 mb 4 gb whatever it will produce the same size of message digest okay so now what he will do he generates hash of m h of m now he will encrypt this one with kb minus h of m so instead of encrypting m i now encrypt kb minus h of m and he's sending the large message okay now what happens alice verifies the signature integrity of digital sign message so she gets the large message she also knows the hash function is shared so she knows it she finds h of m here what she does encrypted message she has kb minus of h of m so here from the message i can easily find h of m because h is known then she finds from here she finds h of m and from the encrypted message that was sent by bob using his private key she now applies the public key to h of m and she gets h of m so if both of them match then it means the digital signature was correct and that is the digital signature okay so this way now your message digest becomes smaller and it is much easier and now again why is this good because uh, we cannot find so anyone inside let's say trudy is there the bad person so if she it's infeasible for her to find a m dash for which what will happen h of m dash is equal to h of m so no one can forge that message so i hope you understand this and md5 hash function is there sha i is also there so this produces 128 bit message digest this produces 160 bit message digest so this is there about digital signature i hope you understand this thanks a 